Hi, I'm Stefan Gillen. I am 14 years old, and I'm going to be talking about what Hades land is portrayed to be versus what it actually is. And then I'm going to talk about baby dog, papa dog, and then the stereotypes of Haitians. First, I'm going to talk about Hades land. Haiti is considered the, to be the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. But a lot of people do not know that. It does have very beautiful vacation spots, such as Montreux. It provides very romantic places for newlywed couples. And then it's mostly made of beaches for like vacation spots. Um, now I'm gonna talk about Baby Doc. Baby Doc, also known as Jean Claude De Duvalier, was born on J July third of nineteen fifty one. He after Papa Doc had died, he had became his, the next president. And after, after, once he became president, he changed his father's regime, regime and delegated much authority. In result, thousands of Haitians were killed, tortured, and fleed the country. Haiti's rebel, rel, relation to the U.S. improved after Duval, Duvalier's ascent to presidency, but then fell. But once again re-improved re while under Ronald Reagan's anti-communist stance against Duvalier. In 1985, a rebellion against Duvalier's regime caused Baby Doc to flee to France in 1986. After nearly three decades in France, Baby Doc unexpectedly returned to Haiti on July on January 16th, 2011. That same day, he was arrested for corruption. February 28th, 2013, he pleaded not guilty. On October 4th, 2014, Baby Doc had suffered from a heart attack at 63 years old. Now I'm going to talk about Papa Doc. Papa Doc, France, also known as Francis Duvalier, was born in 1907, April 14th. He was the 32nd president of Haiti from 1957 of October 27th, uh, 22nd to 1971 of April 21st. His wife was Simone Duvalier, and he had four kids named Jean-Claude, Marie-Denise, Simone Jr., and Nicole. Duvalier's father was a JP officer known as Justice of the Peace, as well as a baker. Duvalier, Duvalier's aunt, Madame Floresto, had raised him because of his father's absence. Du Duvalier grew up with a medical a degree in medicine from the University of Haiti and then spent a year at the University of Michigan, Michigan studying public health. In 1946, Duvalier president with president uh, partnered with President Damar Saiz estimate. It was appointed Director General of the National Public Health Service in 1949. In 1950, Duvalier left the government and resumed practicing medicine. In 1954, he abandoned medicine, medicine and hid in, the country, in Haiti's countryside from the Maglor regime. During the month of December 1956, an amnesty was issued, and Duvalier, Duvalier came out of hiding. On the 12th, Mag, Maglor conceded defeat. 
Duvalier was elected pres president in 1957, when his first act of order was to exile most of the major su supporters of Dijon, his opponent, as well as and adopted a new constitution. In July 1958, three exiled Haitian army officers and five American mercenaries landed in Haiti and tried to overthrow Duvalier. After failure to do so, they were killed. Because of that failure, Duvalier's distrust for the army had increased. In 1959, Duvalier created a rural militia called Militia of National Security Volunteers, more commonly known as the Tonton Makut, which by 1961 grew twice as big as the army. On May 24, 1959, Duvalier had a heart attack due possibly to an insulin overdose. While Duvalier recovered, Clement Barbeau, leader of the Tonton Makut, was left in power. Tonton Makut. Oh, Tonton Makut. In 1961, Duvalier viol started. Duvalier. Yo, Patrick, give me a moment. <laughs> this boy has been butchering the names from okay. the start. So why are you interrupting him? No, I didn't want to interrupt him. Go ahead, go ahead. Could you repeat that? Duvalier. Duvalier started violating provisions of the 1957 Constitution. He first changed the bicameral legislature with the unicameral eh, legislature. Then he called an election when he was the only candidate to remain in power. When Duvalier returned, he accused Barbeau and imprisoned him for trying to overthrow him of power. When um, when Barbo was in prison, he when when Barbo was in prison for two years, he came back and then kidnapped his his ch Duvalier's children in order to gain power. After failure. He then tried to flee the country, but failed and died and was killed. Duvalier had died from heart disease seven days after his 64th birthday, and his son, Jean-Claude, became his successor. That is the end of my presentation.